Hey guys, this is Danny at Parte. So I'm just real quick uh, getting a couple of little snapshot images here before I answer the question uh, that we posed earlier uh, around, um, you know, what is uh, the 35 cent way to get your images uh, to be able to project through a transparency like that. So you can see even outside with, you know, daylight going on, um, it's about 3.30 right now. Uh, it's overcast, uh, but there's still a lot of diffuse light that's hitting the house. And you can see the image perfectly through there. So I'm going to pause and go in. All right, so there's our panel. Let me shrink, shrink us down. There's our panel. Um, so uh, you guys can see uh, you know, that there's nothing that you're able to make out. Um, from outside thank you my, my ca camera finally just focused so there you can see the images on the side of it and you can see the uh the panel right there um where you're not seeing anything now if i turn in certain directions you can pick up a little hint of it like here right but generally looking straight on um it's just a, a frosted kind of thing um and uh, happy to go back out. We can, you know, see it again. But uh, so here's the answer right here, guys. So the answer is a 35 cent sanding pad <clears throat> that I got from the paint store when I pick up my poly. Um, and all I did, actually, it would be two of these. So let me correct myself. It'd be 70 cents because I used an 80 grit and then this 220 grit here. Um, you can see it if I can focus in here. Get us in some light. It's about 220 grit. Okay. So that pad, um, the 80 grit first, just to put some some good facets in there and then the the 220 to blend all that out and just get a good even finish um, but there are other ways that you could do that now that's the cheapest way and it works guys it works especially if you want to try a little test piece first to get your pattern down as to how you want to do it it's real simple and you don't push real hard you just kind of lightly honestly lightly sand like this just kind of go across it you can do back and forth do a thatch kind of thing if you want to but it's not really required uh, it's really just about getting a good balanced sort of uh, sand across it but the other way that you can do it is you can use um, just a like a water-based polyurethane um, take your little baby powder maybe get a cup uh, excuse me a half a cup of warm water mix in a half a cup of baby powder some sort of talc or cornstarch uh, anything that that'll dissolve in there uh, you could probably even use, honestly, I wouldn't, but you could probably even use like coffee creamer or something. Anything that's in a powder form that it's dissolved, but talc's going to be your best. Talc's what they use in paint. Um, so <clears throat> what you're going to do is put that in there, dissolve it real good, and then take two cups of your poly and just add that mixture, that talc mixture, into your poly. Mix it up real good and just spray it on. And you can spray it front and back. Um, you spray it front and back and you can pretty much guarantee you're not going to have any kind of hot spots. Now it'll be frosted real well. You can see through it like colors and things like that. But, you know, if somebody sticks their hand up close to it, you can make out, you know, the edges. I mean, but it's not going to be as transparent as a window. Um, the only thing that you're going to find that's going to be as transparent as a window is going to be specialized films, and even they're not that transparent. Um, think of the ones where you see in the back of trucks where it has an image. You can see out, but you can't see in. Um, those films work kind of that way. Um, not exactly, but that they work kind of that way. Um, so it's really using polarized light or polarizing the light as it enters and exits. With this, really what you're doing is you're just introducing some structure that's going to block light as it comes through it's going to allow a lot of it to pass through but then some's going to get blocked by those facets or by the particle that you would introduce with the poly um, there's other ways to do this so if you're if you're somebody that's looking for a commercial venture um, you know we 
I'll be glad to help you for free. You can reach out to us and I'll, I'll give you instructions as to how you can do this. Cost you maybe 35, 40 bucks, material included. Um, and you can have a nice little setup um, in a commercial space. Uh, but this is not something that, that would cost a lot of money. And quite frankly, even in the commercial space, if you do it right, um, the little sanding pad would work just fine um, because it'll allow you to still see through. You can see customers walking by. Um, but, you know, if you want to project an image, then it gives those customers something to look at. It has a full side angle, so it's all good. Uh, the reason it's going to have a full side angle is because that structure is on the the exterior surface so it's going to carry that image across the whole surface because the whole surface is, is faceted um, so more than happy to help you uh, just feel free to reach out to me this is more craft stuff um, craft hobby use it maybe like during halloween um, for window dressings things like that uh, there are probably a lot of other practical applications you know for birthday parties or something who knows uh, but for whatever purpose if you're looking for something like this once again more than happy to help you out for free just reach out to us and we'll give send you some instructions all right otherwise you guys take care and uh, have a good day bye